Shalom, Shalom. I want to give all praise and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahashai by Hashem, Kakadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. None respect to you, brothers, teaching and preaching the truth worldwide and to this day and continue on until the end. And Shalom to the speck of bird scattered across, scattered across uh, the four corners of the earth. Uh, I just wanted to get into this uh, self-examining. Um, that's what I'm going to title the lesson, self-examining. Because we're coming into some serious times where, you know, uh, you so-called Negroes, Hispanic, Native Americans, and India is going to have to self-examine ourselves, you know, uh, to see whether you're in the faith of Salakia. Uh, let, let me pull up that scripture right now, examine yourself. All right, Second Corinthians chapter thirteen, verse five. Uh, examine yourselves, whether ye be in the faith. Prove your own self. Know ye not your own selves? Who do we belong to? How that Yahweh Shai Hamashiach is in you? That means we belong to Yahweh Bashem Shai. Except ye be reprobates. So you gotta examine yourself to see whether you be in the faith. See, there's a difference between faith and fear. Fear is an instinct also, but faith is also an instinct. So faith is more on the righteous hand, on the righteous hand. Fear is on the left hand. They fear the the, the 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 left hand angels fear the righteous angels, man. All right? So you know, you I can gotta definitely examine yourself to whether to see if you're in the faith, man. Cause the the, the times that we're coming into, the devil's gonna come down with great wrath, right? It's going to come down with great wrath. Let me pull up that scripture. I don't want to, you know, chop it up and say it for myself. Let the scripture speak. Therefore rejoice ye heavens. So like you. Therefore rejoice ye heavens. And ye that dwell there. Ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth. Who's the inhabitants of the earth? Who's the inhabitants of the earth? All right, it's Esau Edom, the so-called white man, the devil of the Bible. Uh, I have it to the earth and of the sea, for the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knows that he has a short time. He's going to come with all, all that he got, man. What was he blessed with, man? He's blessed with the sword. If you go back in the book of Revelation, uh, Genesis, Salakia. Like yeah. Um, so like yeah. Here we go. Genesis chapter twenty seven. I'm gonna start at verse uh thirty eight. And Esau said unto his father, Has thou but one blessed my father? Bless me, even me also. O oh, my father, and Esau lifted up his voice and wept. And Isaac, his father, verse 39, Isaac, his father, said unto him, Isaac, his father, Salakia, Salakia, and Isaac, his father, answered and said unto him, Behold, thy dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth. And who's ruling the earth right now? Who got the fatness on the earth, man? Who's in every corner of the country at, uh, uh, promoting his, 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 his witchcraft, man? Uh, uh, fatness of the earth. Salakia. Yeah. Fatness of the earth and of the dew of heaven from above. And by thy sword.
shall thou live and shall serve thy brother, and it shall come to pass when thou shalt have the dominion, thou shalt break his yoke from off his neck. And that's what we're about to do, man. After after this devil's rulership, we, we, we're going to put these devils in, in, in the yoke, man. We're going to break the yoke off our neck and put them yokes on their neck, man. So definitely, Akim, we gotta we gotta uh, examine ourselves to see whether we be in the faith, man. How you examine yourself, man? Second Timothy chapter two, verse fifteen. Study to show thyself approved unto Yahweh, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. So you gotta, you gotta do, you gotta do your research, right? All right, you gotta do your research on on, on some of the scriptures, man. Uh, study, the, uh, try to get the Hebrew out of it, uh, uh, uh and constantly pray and, and and try to connect with the Most High. How about Shemir Hashai, man? And, and establish this brotherly love. Look over some of the laws, and statutes, and commandments of what the Heavenly Father had put out to ensure that to ensure that you're not going off on the law. All right. But shun profane, vain babbling, for they will increase unto more ungodly. And who's going to increase into more ungodly? That's Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, and also uh, the wicked Jakes, man. So you don't want to be a part of you don't want to be a part of their number, man. All right, and the, verse seventeen, and their word will eat as though a canker, of whom Hemenius, um, uh, uh we're gonna search up canker, search up canker. We're gonna get the Greek out of it, man. So I can. Gagrena. 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 And the etymology to it. From is from Grano to gr Gana. Na. So the outline of the biblical usage is uh, a gangrene, a disease by which any part of the body suffering from inflammation becomes so corrupt that unless a remedy be seasonable apply the evil continually so these devils going to continually perform wickedness throughout the earth man and with this time with this time where everybody's in their house uh sealed in the, the, he's performing war witchcraft behind closed doors without us knowing man attacks other parts and last eats away the bones man and that's what he's doing to the, that's what he's doing to the people man Eating away, he's eating away their mirth, man. Eating away their playtime, you know. There's no the, the mirth of the, the the mirth of the land is gone, man. All right. Slocky, so, we're gonna get into another scripture. Book of Isaiah, chapter 55, verse 6. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. All right? So when the Lord is there, man, through the prophets and uh, uh, us doing these sit-downs, how you seek the Lord, man? You you study to show your, yourself uh, approved, man. You got to look into the scriptures, you know, and, and, and 
uh, uh, understand what, it, what, what the Lord is saying, man. Verse 7, let the wicked forsake his ways and the unrighteous man his thoughts and let him return unto the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yashah, and he will have mercy upon him to our our power for he will abundantly up abundantly a pardon and, and that that's the elect he's gonna have mercy upon the wicked is going always gonna be wicked man they're gonna continue in their wickedness until the Lord comes back man and and, and deliver us out of this out of this place called Babylon and great the, the harlots of all harlots man so brothers you know yeah just stay in the faith man and keep on and you know keep it and keep up that faith what is faith, by the way? Let's get into that. Let's see. Hebrews. Book of Hebrews, chapter 11, verse 1. Now, faith is a substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things see not seen. So we can't see faith. That we got to pray for it, man. We got to pray for to have faith during that time when, when we get a, 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 during that temptation of the mark of the beast. And resisting it on the on the every circumstance because of the faith of, of, of us having in Yahweh Shimei Ashai, that's when it's going. That's when your faith is truly going to show, man. Shows that you're faithful to the heavenly Father, like how a man being faithful to his girl for like five to ten years. It's the same way we being faithful to Yahweh Shimei Ashai. We ain't going nowhere, man, from this truth. All right. Verse two, four by the elders attain a good report. Uh, how we, how the elders would obtain a good report? Us showing our faith uh, of doing doing the work of Yahweh Shimei Hashai, man. All right, through faith we understand that the worlds, all right, were framed by the word of Yahweh, so that the things which are seen, not made of things do, which do appear. All right, by faith Abel, all right, offer unto Yahweh a more excellent sacrifice than Cain. So Abel, through faith, offered a proper sacrifice to Yahweh, man. Abel offered a, a whack-ass sacrifice, and that's these biblical Edomites right now, man. All right? By which the by which he obtained witness that he was righteous, Yahweh testifying of his gifts, and by it he being dead, yet speaketh, because he obtained he, he showed Yahweh a, a, a proper sacrifice. For, compared to Cain showing that wax sacrifice, man. All right. You gonna get into uh. Oops. Salakia, Salakia, Akia. Okay. I'm trying to wait, Salakia. Find this scripture. Salakia. Alright. We're going to uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 5. We're going to start at 2. Now he that have wrote us for the self same thing is Yahweh. Who also have given unto us the earnest of spirit. That means we got that Holy Spirit in us, man. That Rukwakadash, man. Therefore, we are always confident knowing that whilst we are at home in the body, we are absent from the Lord, man. We are absent from the Lord, man. We are absent from the Lord. 
And the good, he, that good man went on the journey. Uh, the good man that went on a long journey, man. He's coming back from his long journey. But we walk by faith, not by sight. All right? We 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 don't we don't see it, man. But we believe in it. But sight is a carnal thing, man. All right? You don't want you you. Want, you it's stronger to see something. It's stronger to see to see something that you can't see, right? And see something that you can't see, because that this thing that you can't see, it it, it is perishable, man. It, it it could be it could be gone away, it, right before your eyes, man. What you can't see never could be gone, man. That's why that's why the Lord is an everlasting power, and He He gave us everlasting spirits. So what what are, what are we there to be afraid of? Because we are the Lord's, man. We are Yahweh Shem Yahshai's sons and daughters, man. So, therefore, we, are, if we're part of the Lord, that means we're everlasting. And our body will, can't, our, our, our spirits never perish, man. We are confident, I say, and willing rather to be absent from the body, meaning we don't want to be in the, we don't want to be in this place called Babylon the Great. This, the harlots of all harlots, man. This place is getting ready to get judged, man. By Yahabah Shemel Shai, we're at third moon nuclear fire, man. And to be present with the Lord. We definitely want to be present with the Lord, and that's coming soon. When the Lord comes back with uh, thousands of chariots, man. Wherefore we labor, whether present or absent, we may be accepted by Him. For we, verse 10, for we must all appear before judgment. Seed of Hamashiach. So therefore, we got to examine ourselves, man. Seed of Hamashiach. That everyone may receive the things done in his body according to that he have done, whether it be good or bad. So we're going to be judged according, according to the law of, 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 of how we uh, how we uh, been presenting it on a day-to-day -day basis. Pushing his word. You know, going on the highways and byways, you know, uh, getting a marriage for the bill, that, that brotherly love, you know, and keeping the law, statute, and commandments to the best of our ability, man. Remember, we're re rehearsing a righteous act to get into the kingdom. All right. Verse 11, knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we persuade men, but we are made manifest unto Yahweh, and I trust, and I trust also are made manifest in your consciences, man. So therefore, we got to put all our trust in Yahweh by Shem Shai, man. I'm going to end it up with one more. Sirach chapter 5 verse 7 Make no tarrying to turn to the Lord And put not off from day to day Meaning you gotta put 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 in day to day with the Lord Pray every day man Pray every day You know Whether you be at work Whether you be uh, Outside just walking Anywhere Pray You know call upon the name Yahweh Bashim Shai man Bashim Kadash. Those are the names that's going to deliver us from this captivity. All right. Shall the. From day to day. For suddenly shall the wrath of the. Of the most high. Come forth. And in thy security. Thou shalt be destroyed. And perish in the day of vengeance. Man. The Lord is getting ready to turn up on this place. Man. So we cannot put off day to day. Man. We got to put in this work. Sincerely. All right. And set not set thine heart upon goods unjustly gotten. Set not thine heart upon goods unjustly gotten, for they shall not profit thee in the day of calamity. So all of this is gonna be wasted away, man. Whatever everything that you physically see is gonna be gone before your eye. Alright. So I'm gonna end it at that. Um, I want to give all praise and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai, by Hashem Rakakadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Enough respect to you brothers teaching and preaching is true. Definitely not the end. We almost there. Stay prayed up, Akiyam. 
Stay in the spirit. Be of good faith for Yahweh Shem Yahshai. Shalom.